afternoon. Uh, I'm Ann Jones Guider. I'm District 4 Commissioner here in Douglas County and welcome to District Dialogue. I have a special guest here today and many of you will recognize him from his other hat that he uh, wore in his past and uh, his name is Gary Watson and I've known Gary personally how many years, Gary? Long time. <laughs> I was just a kid, wasn't I? <laughs> no. Yep. When I first came to work for the county yes, or when I was in the tax office, mm -hmm. I knew I knew you. Yep. So um, anyway, he's a long time uh, friend. And, uh, but he has uh, since retired from Douglas County. And, but I'm going to start with all the hats that you wore here in Douglas County when you did work for the county. So, um, welcome. Thank you. And um, I'm going to hand it over to you, and you just tell the different uh, things that you did while working for Douglas County. Well, thank you so much, Commissioner Guider, for having me to, to begin with. Um, it's a real pleasure to see you again. My history with the Douglas County government started way back in 1989. Uh, I was here. Yeah, as you mentioned, you and I even go back uh, be way before that because before I came to work for Douglas County, I was editor of the Douglas County Sentinel That's for like right. 15 I years. Forgot. I was. Yes. Yeah. So, but anyhow, uh, I came to work for Douglas County in 1989 uh, as director of what was then called the Rideshare Program. And that program was created as one of the first programs in the metro Atlanta area to uh, work on um, air quality and traffic congestion. Mm -hmm. uh, initially, the program had uh, just a small van poo program. Actually, when I came, the, the program was in its infancy and it had two van poo routes. Two? Uh, two van, van poo <laughs> routes. <laughs> Yeah, but as, as the years went along, we reached a point one time around 2004, 2005 in there to where, where, where we had 60 daily Van Poole routes. Goodness. Yeah, I knew several people that drove. Right. And they got, if they drove, they got to ride free. Correct. Right. Yeah. So the, the Van Poole program grew in popularity and uh, as that program grew, we knew we needed to uh, add to our transportation resources. And so we came up with the idea to build this facility that we're sitting in mm -hmm. now, the transportation yeah. center. And so that turned out to be a very popular uh, facility. And then as we moved on and grew even more, uh, we eventually, in 2019, added the uh, fixed route bus bus service yeah. that we that we still have now, and also a, a voucher program to, to aid senior yes. adults. Yeah. <clears throat> so, you know, I spent 30 years of my life building and developing uh, this program with the help of a lot of other people. I had great staff during that time, I had a lot of support mm -hmm. from you and the other commissioners. And we, we turned the ride share program, which became Connect Douglas, into a program that was uh, envied and respected, not only throughout the, the region, but the state and on a national level. Too. Now, I do remember, too, that you did some grant writing. Uh, yes, and I always, uh, I think I took a course with you or even maybe it was online on how to do that. Mm -hmm. so. For a while, in addition to my ride share Connect Douglas responsibilities, I was a county's grant writer. Uh -huh. And I never kept a, a, a actual official tally on it, but I suspect that in my career, uh, we probably got about twenty million dollars mm -hmm. in in state and, and federal a lot grants. Of people, don't, people don't realize that the county, a lot of the revenues come from grants. Sometimes there's a local match where we have to match uh, ten, twenty percent, something like that. But sometimes there are no matches, and if we did not have those grants. Uh, 
no telling what the tax rate would be. <laughs> There's about eight million dollars total tied up in this facility and the federal and state governments paid close to 90 yeah. percent. Well, um, so you retired, what, what year? I retired in 2020. Okay. Now, I'd like for the people to know that you are still a local resident. You live in my district. I do. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so, um, anyway, uh, how long have you been writing books? Well, let's, let's give a little history on okay. that, that, too. Uh, I think uh, I was destined to be a writer. Uh, first of all, God gave me a talent uh -huh. with the, the written okay. word. Uh, I come from something of a, a writing family. Uh, my, my grandfather uh, was a, a great newspaper uh, person, writer up in Chattooga County in North Georgia. And I had an uncle who was like a second father to me who um, uh, made a name for himself as a new newspaper person in Floyd County. I hear some of that history in this book right here. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, and, and I can see uh, some similarities in what happened to that character. Right. Uh, so the yeah. small town editor and yeah. everything was... Yeah. So, I, so I, you know, I, I, I came from a family of, of writers um, I've always had an ability to write. You know, I was the kid in the third and fourth grade uh, that, that people hated me because when we had to write a report, they struggled to, to write one page and I'd <laughs> write five or six. Uh, so, but, but anyhow, I, I've always written. Uh, my formal education uh, is in uh, English, uh, uh -huh. journalism, and literature. Oh, that's okay. that's what I studied at West Georgia College. Uh, if you'd ever had any courses in right. in writing, yeah. and that's my formal education. And then, of course, as I mentioned, um, I, I was in the newspaper business for a long time. I, uh, I worked in newspapers in in Bremen, Harrison County, Cedartown, Cherokee County, and then in the okay. Sentinel. How long were well. you uh, in that? Uh, occupation. I actually started writing with my hometown paper in Bremen when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. Did that all the way through high school and college and then the day after I graduated from West Georgia I was named editor of the paper in Bremen okay. when I was like 21 oh. years old. My goodness, so, so your talent had already <laughs> blossomed there. Yeah. So, so anyhow from the time I was 15, 16 on up till basically I was 40 years old, I worked in the newspaper yeah. business. I, I remember when I was in high school and I shared this with you earlier, I won a citywide essay contest during the centennial in Montgomery, Alabama. And I had a teacher tell me I needed to be a writer. Uh, my English teacher told me, you need to consider going into the writing field. And of course I did not pursue that. <laughs> But uh, God has uh, a plan for everybody, and I, I tell you, I could fill a book up with <clears throat> how he had little God stops along my life, too, mm -hmm. and, and uh, I share that a lot of times when I'm teaching Sunday school. Um, so uh, you've written three books? Uh, I, have, I have three uh, that are available on the market now, and my fourth will be out this August or September. But well, this is good timing. Yeah, absolutely, it is. <laughs> That's a God out. stop. It is a God wink. Yeah. <clears throat> well, uh, your books are sold online right now, but are you have plans to sell them in local stores? We're working on that. I, I actually have a a close friend who has sort of become my publicist, uh -huh. and she's she's working on. Uh, talking to, to local stores about getting getting my books uh, in them. And yeah. if there's any local merchant who's listening to us now that might have an interest in in uh, stocking my books, I'd, I'd certainly be glad to talk to them. Well, uh, like bookstores? Mm -hmm. uh, bookstores, yeah. yeah. Now, as I said, I have a person who's working with me now to, to try to make <coughs> that 
that happened. You really ought to donate a book to the libraries here in We've Douglas already County. Done that. Oh, you have? Yeah. Okay, you're ahead of yeah. me then. Uh, which book was your first one? The first one is th th that one, 15 one. Minutes of Thing. Yeah, and it has all about a uh, newspaper reporter, so uh, I can see part of your bio in yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. The main character in that book is a newspaper reporter, and his ethical dilemma is does he simply report on a story or does he get directly involved in it? Okay, yeah. And so I'll let the readers uh, judge on that. Okay. This was your second? second? Second chapter of a bad dream. Now it's not uh, a trilogy or anything, no, it does it? No, those uh, are all standalones. Standalone, that, okay. This one, this, this one is based in, in Atlanta. Uh, second chapter of Bad Dream is based in a small town in South Georgia. Uh, again, a uh, newspaper reporter is the central character in it, and he gets involved with some ritualistic killings uh, Ooh, in, yeah. in that little town. That, there was something starting there, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't want yeah. to give too much away. Anyway, I, I, I noticed the continuation of a character in the field of being a newspaper Correct. reporter. <laughs> right. And then this is your latest one. It is. Again, the uh, newspaper reporter is a central character in that book. He's, he's making a name for himself in Atlanta. He's called back to his uh, small town in South Georgia uh, because his fa father supposedly uh, committed suicide. Oh but he, uh, he begins investigating that and discovers that things aren't what they seem. Yeah, and then you're launching the new one in August. Can't wait, can't wait. But um, you did use some of our local names out here as far as locations, the little towns. Mm -hmm. I think Villarica was in there, Lithia Springs or something. Yeah. Uh, in this uh, book right here, so. Um, you're yeah. putting us on the map. I, You're kind of putting yeah. us on the map. <laughs> I, try, I try to uh, mix a little bit of uh, reality in with fiction. Uh, so where do you get your inspiration for a book? Everywhere. <laughs> uh, believe it or not, I, I have some ideas that come to me in dreams. Uh, I keep up with the, the news. There's all sorts of good, juicy uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> plots that come out in the, the news every day and and then just from observing everything that's going on around me people places characters. things characters <laughs> exactly there are some characters that's worth writing about yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know I, uh, I told you uh, writing a book is kind of on my bucket list I hope I get around to it uh, <clears throat> I didn't know whether to just write about my you know, my life and things that happened during my life, because I have been blessed, I can tell you that from the very get-go, but, um, our politics. Sure. But just the, say, something like the back door of politi local politics or something, and there's just funny things that happen. I could write a book about the things that happened in the tax office oh, man, when sorry. I was the tax yeah. commissioner, I'm telling you, because you meet everybody. <clears throat> so, um, have you ever thought about turning one of your books into a play? Not a play, not a, um, not a play or not a script for a movie or anything uh, like that. You know, you know, I'd like to think at some point a movie producer might notice one of my books and, and uh, authorize somebody else to write a script from it, but I, I don't think that's my, my thing. Well, you never know when someone's going to take notice of you. Uh, you know, Albany, Georgia is on the map now because of the church that films all mm -hmm. the, the movies. I've seen all their movies. Yes, I have They're too. Really and I tell you what, uh, every I recommend them to everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, there was uh, Fireproof, which is good for marriages. And, and then Facing the, the Overcome, Facing the yeah. Giants, War Room. Mm -hmm. room that I've got a war room in my house. That, that gave me the idea, because yeah. uh, prayer is very powerful. But, um, so you've already said that you took writing courses in, in, in uh, school and everything. Um, 
what advice would you give someone that is thinking about writing a book? Sit down and do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down and do it. It's, as, as you and I were talking uh, before we started filming, uh, I've, I've taught a few writing classes, and of course I speak to groups some, um, and, and my advice, I, what I tell them is that everybody's got a book in them. And, and I'll give you an example. Uh, one of my high school classmates, um, who is not a writer, but she put together a book of stories that her mother told her as a child. Yeah. And it, it's a sweet little book, very, yeah. very poignant. Um, and everybody's got stories like that to tell. In writing, you just got to sit down and do it, put, yeah. put pen to paper. I had a friend that was a vet, Vietnam uh, vet, and he wrote his story about uh, when he was in the Marines and everything. And then my Sunday school teacher has written a small book too, mm -hmm. uh, Kevin Thrash. So uh, I haven't read that yet, but um, I'm going to get around to it. Well, it take, it, writing <coughs> takes discipline, but, you know, especially if you're doing a major project like trying to put together a novel. Uh -huh. it, it's not a, a day or a week task. Oh, no, it yeah, takes, probably take months maybe a year or so, right. yeah. So you just, you just got to have the, the discipline, discipline, mm -hmm. uh, and the determination to, to finish the task. And just use your imagination too. Sure. Use your life experiences Absolutely. and things like yeah. that. But uh, it is on my bucket list, so. <laughs> um, well, I hope you get it done. Well, uh, you mentioned the classes that you have taught. Uh, are, you, are you gonna continue to do that? I'm, I'm available to do that, yes ma'am. Again, if, if somebody would have an interest in and me teaching a class or, or talking to them, if, if they'll go on my website and contact me, I'd what be going to What is your website? GaryWatsonBooks.com. Okay, that's simple. Yep. It's, it's on this little cup it right is. here. Yep. <laughs> he gave me one of his Yeah, the the, the coffee <laughs> uh, cups have my logo on it and also has the names of my four, four books. Do they? Mm -hmm. All right. I see the name of the new one. Yes. So. <laughs> uh -huh. um, I would be interested in taking one of those courses. So if you get a chance to, uh, I don't know if you teach at the school, um, you know, West Georgia, where, wherever, if it's anywhere close by, I would love to take it. I'll put you on the list. Please, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, who, who are your favorite authors? Oh, that's, that's real easy. My, my very favorite is David Baldacci. Yes, yeah, I've read him. I've, I've written, uh, read probably about a dozen of uh -huh. his books. I love him. Michael Connolly, I really like too. too. He, he's mystery suspense yeah. too. His, John Grisham. I, I like John I Grisham love a lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I read a little Stuart Woods, uh, Iris Joe Patterson. I'm, I'm not a big Patterson fan. I, now, my wife loves of, him, but I, I'm not a big Patterson fan. No. Gruley or something, and he's written a new book that's his bio. Yeah. So uh, I heard him talking about that the other day. Um, um, but, and I like, um, is it M Melva? Oh, gosh. I, she, she's an Irish woman, mm -hmm. and, and she writes about Irish people, yeah. me being okay. Dutch Irish, is sure. where that interest comes in, and um, I like I like stories about um, natural things that we go through in life, ups or downs, valleys right. or uh, you know, the mountains, um, and sometimes the valleys is where we learn the most. Valleys <coughs> appreciate the good times. Isn't it the truth? People don't people. The Bible even says that we should count our um, uh, challenges in life. I don't Absolutely. know the exact words, but, uh, and, I, and I know I have learned more in my valleys. Sometimes when you're on a mountain, you get apathetic that there's a higher power, and uh, you, uh, you, you think, 
look what I've accomplished. And then you just go on like you don't need the, right. your faith. And, and I, I think that's where it's really pulled me in. So, um, let's see, I've got one, one other. Do you want to say anything else about your books or uh, your plans? And I, I assume you're going to continue writing. Yes, ma'am. Well, and how long does it take you to write a book? Anywhere from six months to a year. Okay. Yeah. Um, we'll talk a little bit about my, my book that will be out September, uh, August. It's called Granite County. Uh -huh. And I'm real excited about it. Um, I'm introducing a, a new character uh, in that book. She's a, a rookie female detective. <laughs> uh, that, and she tends to... Uh, Look, uh, leap before she looks, and that gets her into, into a little trouble sometimes. But uh, she has been tasked with uh, investigating the death of a small time drug dealer and also the drowning death of a, a high, high school star football player. Oh uh -huh. And so um, it ends up that without giving a whole lot away, those two deaths. Uh, uh, are tied together. So uh, I think people will really, will really enjoy uh, that particular book. Uh, as far as what I've got planned for the future, uh, the plan right now is uh, to release one book a year for the next four years. Four years. All right. Very ambitious. And I, well, and I've already, I've already, basically already have them written. So, we'll do you see. keep notes and put them in a pile and say this is going to be for a future book, or maybe a character that you meet that you would like to uh, implant into the, the story or um, something? I'm, I'm a little different than a lot of other writers. I, I don't have notes stuck here and there. I, I keep everything up in my head. <laughs> That's getting harder as, <laughs> as yeah, we age. So. Yeah. Sometimes I can't remember what I had for breakfast. <laughs> Where you put your phone. Yeah. But anyhow, those, those are the plans uh, for right now. And there's a county, is it Elberton? Or a city that's the granite capital of the world here in Georgia. Uh, is any relation to Granite uh, County? Let's, let's, <laughs> Granite uh, County. <laughs> let's, let's just say the Granite <laughs> County in my book is loosely based on Elberton and some of those small towns up in the North Georgia. <laughs> you, you didn't think I would catch that, did no, you? <laughs> I, that's, that's, that's a good catch, but, but yeah. And I, and I tried to, to do that. Uh, a, a lot of my characters in, in places are are sometimes loosely based on on places that I'm familiar now, where with. Did you, now, where, uh, where did you say? I grew up in Bremen. In Bremen, mm -hmm. I, my my daughter just moved to Bremen. Okay. They built a house out there on a lake and everything. Um, but they're on the outer skirts of Bremen. Yeah. It's closer to the Carroll County okay. line and everything. But, uh, and you went to high school there. Graduated from uh, high school uh, a long, long time ago. <laughs> I gra uh, finished second in <laughs> my class. Uh, from there, went on to, to West Georgia College, which of course now is the University of, of West Georgia. And then straight out of college, I hopped into the newspaper business. Yeah. Been writing ever since. So you were the second in the class. How many people graduated with you? Two. <laughs> no, 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 really. We, we had about 70 in our class. I graduated in Montgomery uh, with over 600, and I was wow. in the top 10% of my class. So. That's fantastic. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, I don't know that it's ever made any difference in my life, but uh, I, cert I think everything that you touch during your life, every person that you meet and everything sure. has, uh, makes a difference, I know. Uh, 
here in Douglas County, Lamar Smith uh, mm -hmm. put me on my career. Yeah. So never thought of it either. <clears throat> well, Gary, I wish you so much success. I know you're already successful, but going forward, I wish you uh, uh, just uh, blessings beyond uh, your imagination. And um, I look forward to your other books and um, maybe taking a class from you one day. Well, that's great. Well, <coughs> I certainly appreciate your time today, and, and I thank you for all the support you gave me uh, with my career in Douglas County yeah. in your role. As well, you, too. You're easy to have, you know, to be nice to because you're nice. <laughs> Well, I hope you've enjoyed this interview with uh, our local talent. Uh, I think we do have some other authors here. I know Dot Paget wrote a book. Uh, are there some others? There's, yeah, there, there's actually um, a bunch of, of Douglas County authors, and, and a good way to find out about them is to go up to the History Museum in the old courthouse. Uh -huh, uh -huh. They, they have a, a display of the books of local authors. Up there, it'd be mm -hmm. really interesting. I was just up there, there during the Hydrangea Festival. Yeah. <laughs> you had to go up there to get your tickets. So. But um, uh, I, I, I know Dot did, and then the um, the librarian who was Fannie Mae Davis. Fannie Mae Davis mm -hmm. wrote a book about she Douglas did. County. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but uh, all you students out there. Look for the, uh, Gary Watson's books in the library. He's already, have you put it on audio yet? Not yet. You've got to. You've got to, because that's how I do, because I multitask. I'm always doing something else, and I'm reading a book at the same time, yeah. especially on trips when I'm driving. Yeah. I, I like to listen to a book. Yeah. And you need to get um, someone that's got a great voice. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're not on audio yet, but I will say that they're available as e-books. Those okay. are very popular. Yes, with everybody yes. Now. And you, uh, if you're a member of Pines, you can download them, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you don't have to make a trip to the library. But I do that quite often too. I'm old-fashioned. I like to have a book in my hand when I'm reading. Well, I do too. But uh, I, uh, I'm a workaholic, so to speak, and I like to be doing more than just one thing. And but, uh, uh, but on trips that you know even if you're flying across the country or something get a, a book download a book on audio or, or uh on your uh pad yeah. you know and uh read to read good books read good books uh there's some bad books out there <laughs> but uh these are good good character uh just life experiences that we all go through so, and, and it's about your local area. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you've enjoyed uh, meeting Gary, if you did not already know him. Uh, but um, look for his books, uh, hopefully in local stores soon. And, but uh, go online to GaryWatsonBooks.com. That's right. That's right. Okay. And I've, uh, I will say goodbye for the moment and look forward to our next interview. Thank you. <laughs>